Hi everyone, it's Tammy and happy Foodie Friday. It's been a little minute since I've done one, but I am excited to get started today. I am going to be making stuffed cabbage and or cabbage rolls or however you want to call them. I'm going to take a half of an onion, cut that into little pieces first, or to dice it, I guess, little pieces. Same thing, just, I wanna take the skin off of it. So if you guys haven't had this before, it's kind of like little meat loaves in cabbage rolls, or in cabbage leaves, kinda. So I'm just going to dice pretty finely my onion just because that's the way I like it. You can do it however you want. If you like big chunks, keep them big chunks. It doesn't really matter. And I also have my cabbage cooked. So I have boiled half of a head of cabbage because the whole cabbage was huge. So I only did half of it. Um, and that's gonna be more than I need for sure. I also have a pound of ground beef. I have one of the large 28 ounce cans of tomatoes. I think it's 28 ounces. Yes. And I also have some cooked rice. Now I chose to use brown rice because that's my favorite, but you could use white rice. Um, just And you could use instant, you could use long grain, you can use whatever you feel like. This is instant brown rice. It's the minute rice. So I just cooked it according to the box directions. And I have been craving this, so I'm excited to finally make some. Now this is gonna make, I don't know, several. So you can freeze them. What I'm gonna do is just save it for lunch and I might freeze some. I don't know how many it's gonna make exactly, but I know it's gonna make way more than I'm gonna be able to eat tonight, but I will keep some in the fridge for just um, leftovers. And then if I have enough that I can freeze some, I'll freeze some too. And again, it doesn't matter how you chop your onion, just as long as it gets chopped. And this might even be too much onion. So I'm gonna put about I don't know, three quarters of this in there. So I have that in my bowl and then I'm adding my pound of ground beef and I use lean beef. I don't like the fattier beefs or I'll use turkey, chicken, Anything that you like is fine. And this is not cooked. Straight out of the package. And then I'm going to add, actually what I'm gonna do is take out my cabbage from the cooking thing. Just gonna, there's a little bit of water in there from the cabbage. It is cool. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my tomatoes to the bottom of my cooking pan, just so nothing will stick. So I don't even know how much I added, maybe a half a cup. And then to my mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt, because anything with tomatoes, I think needs salt. And then I'm going to add some tomato sauce, maybe a cup or so, half a cup or so, I don't even know. Just some tomato sauce. I'm adding it to the beef mixture. And then I'm also adding some Italian seasoning. You could also use, oops. <laughs> you could also use spaghetti sauce if you wanted to. I just like the taste of tomatoes, so I'm good with that. And then I'm going to take my, let me see. Let me rinse my hand off of that tomato sauce. I'm going to take my rice and I'm going to add about a cup. I made two cups, but I think if I added about a cup. Now it's still pretty warm, so it's probably going to burn my little fingers a little. 
but my meat is still cold, so. And I have my oven preheated now to 350. That's what that noise is. And I also have one egg to add to it. Just like I said, it's kind of like meatloaf. And you could use whatever you want to use to mix it all together if you don't want to use your hands. But My mom and grandma always taught me to use my hands, so that's what I typically use. Okay, and this is what this looks like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cabbage leaf. And my table is clean. I'm going to take a handful of my meat mixture and just put it in here and roll it and fold in the sides and roll it. And then I'm going to put it seam down in my tomato sauce. I'm just going to repeat that as many times as I can. Now, some of the cabbage, especially since I had to cut this in half, might be a little bit, I don't know, not usable, and that's okay. You don't want the, the thick part of the cabbage at the bottom. They don't have to be super pretty. <laughs> Good thing, huh? I'm gonna pull out that. I did cut around it when I was getting it going. So I don't have to worry about it for my cabbage leaves. <laughs> that one I couldn't really fold in the sides, so it's going to be kind of funky, but again, it doesn't matter what it looks like so much. For those of you that make burritos, you probably have a better idea of how to roll them and wrap them than I do anyway, but yeah, this is crazy. I'm just going to roll this one in here, and then I'm going to also roll it, or... There. <laughs> like I said. I think I'm going to have more meat mixture. And then I'm going to bake these in the oven at 350 for at least an hour. Um, I want the meat to get done. It's kind of just along the lines of the meatloaf, as I keep saying, because you want it to get done in the middle and all that jazz. So just make sure you're <clears throat> cooking it long enough. I cut my cabbage in half that made the leaves a little bit harder to form like good you know like good covers but that's all right I'm making it work I would say don't cut it in half but this cabbage was so big I had to to get it in my pot 
I think I can stuff one more in there. And then I'm gonna have some leftover, like I said, some leftover meat. So what I will probably do is save it for something else. I could use it, I mean, it's got rice in it, but I could use it for tacos or something. I might even just go ahead and brown it up here after a little bit. Okay, so now I have my cabbage rolls all stuffed in here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put some of the extra cabbage on top because it's good and I love cabbage. So I can have a little extra cabbage with my rolls. Just stick them on there. And then I'm taking the rest of the tomatoes and I am pouring it on top. I wasn't sure if I would need an extra can, but I think that this one can will be just fine. And I'm going to, let's see, I'll take my hand and put, go around it like this. And then I'm gonna take my clean hand and sprinkle the Italian seasoning all over it since this isn't already seasoned. And that is that, it is that easy. I'm just going to stick this in the oven at 350 for about an hour and I'll be back. Okay, so this has been in the oven for an hour. I guess I can turn off the oven now, huh? And let me get a plate and a fork. And hopefully they're done. I haven't checked it out yet. It's still steaming hot. I probably should use something more than a fork to get one out, but I'm going to cut it in the middle just to make sure that my meat is done, and it is. So this is what it looks like. Of course, you could serve it looking a lot nicer, but and I really would like some of the sauce on top so there <laughs> just take a little more cabbage and add the sauce because I put that extra cabbage on top all right now it is super hot Mmm. Oh, it does hit the spot. And I was thinking if you had some green pepper, you could add that to it too. But really the cabbage is good. Mmm. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper and salt to mine to taste. But it is wonderful. I hope you guys try it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.